everyone, uh, here I have the new ProStuff V14 in this beautiful copper-ish, brown-ish color. There are four models, the 97, which I'm gonna try first because I have my old one here. So I'm gonna give and compare these two with a sensor in the back and let's see how they perform differently. New addition to Wilson's ProStuff line, it's the X. Uh, it's basically pretty similar to the 97, but it's a bigger head. So instead of 97, it's a hundred size head. I go, that's a little bit lighter than 97L, which is like 290 grams if I don't have it missed. By the way, the 97 is 50, uh, 315 grams. We have the UL, which is even lighter. And I've admitted it's 270 grams. They are a little bit heavier in the head, but let's uh, start with the, the flagship ones and see how they, here I have my old pro stuff from last year, the V13 uh, 97 and the new one. They are exactly the same in specs. Uh, to compare the old ProStuff, the V13, and the new ProStuff 97, the V14, with each other. I have a sensor in the back, it's called Qmate, um, Qmate sensor, and it, it's really good. It gives you like, like kind of a, like quite a few metrics from spin, speed, even lagging, like timing, all kinds of things. So we're gonna see just like how these two perform and compare within each other. The main difference between, so when I first, um, I was always playing with the RF, which was like 340 grams, very heavy. And I loved it, the free power that I got from it. And then I, uh, I switched because I, don't know, I was just doing a lot of hours of coaching and I was like, you know what? I'm getting too old for this, which probably a lot of people are talking about. I heard on with the pro stuff is that people get a little bit old and then they move down to a, like a lighter version. So I went with this one. It was really tough in the beginning because the hit was so fast and it was really hard for me to kind of control the ball at first, but then it grew on me and it, and it, I, I, I really started to feel the, the speed of the, of the racket, so it was great. And, um, and now I really love it, like the acceleration that I got through the head. Then came the new one, and so for me the difference was at first I didn't like it. Um, there was this kind of, it was kind of like a bit slower almost. It didn't give me as much speed as this one at first, but then I gave it a little bit of time. And I realized that if you let the racket do the work for you, meaning like if you swing, don't try to like accelerate too fast, but let the racket kind of bend a little bit, which is probably where they come up with this paradigm uh, bending. And I could really feel it. It's almost like you feel like you're holding it on the ball for a little bit longer, and then you let the racket do the work for you. And um, so, then I started to like it. So now I'm in a, a little pickle. So I'm trying to think, okay, you know, which one, but um, let's give it a go today and compare and see where it goes. It's a little windy here today. So um, if you hear the, it could be my breathing or it could also be the wind. <laughs> okay, I got my app up and running. I got my old pro stuff and let's hit some shots. Oopsies. <laughs> Now, what I love about my racket, it just, it really comes, or oh, my racket, because it is still my racket. There's definitely that speed that comes through the head, but you also have the stability, which is what I really love about the Pro Stuff. That's why I'm actually playing with the Pro Stuff, because I really like that very precise and uh, feedback that you get off it. Make sure you use your legs with these. <laughs> Gotta generate the power from your body. They don't have that much free power. But again, the feedback is amazing. Okay, now that I have tried my old one, I did about 45 shots. I'm gonna start a new set. Start, and let's give the new 97 a go. Here we go, 97. Woo, uh, off the bat is a lot of power. <laughs> Definitely, and I did string them with the exact same string so that, and the same tension. And so you can see here, like I'm trying, when I do that same kind of quick, quickness that I did with my old pro stuff, it flies on me. So, so I have to hit through the ball a little more with my hip and then throw the, throw the racket over the ball to get that control. So 
So it's going to take a little time to get used to it. But I can see how this can be. It's definitely going to be better than the old one. It's just a little bit of a adjustment. Woo, see there, I didn't close the face. This spin, I would, I was, we'll come back to the lighter versions, but I felt like I got more spin from the lighter versions. So this one, the spin really wanted to be generated from the legs. You, you, you don't want to generate spin from just a frame. So length and then close the face. That's how you will generate spin from this. Okay, so here we are. I was just comparing the old Pro Staff and the new Pro Staff version 13 versus version 14. I had an app with a sensor, QMate, and here's a stroke map. Oops. <laughs> and so on this last one, let's just go to the metrics. I hit it nicely in the middle there. Nice shape, 1600 and spin. But if we compare them, so this is the difference between the two here very similar if you ask me the old one and the new one there were times that i tried to go with a little bit more spin and you can see where it's kind of almost identical <laughs> which is kind of interesting um, ball speed very similar again and just so you guys know like i tried i did it with the shift and the shift was significantly the pro the um the performance was significantly more Though you don't get as much feedback, I want to say, as the pro staff. So it's a little more old school, um, where the shift is a little different type of racket. Sweet spot. Well, you can see this is my racket because how well did I hit that in the middle of the racket versus the other one I was kind of, you know, feeling it out, not getting used to it yet. And then uh, head speed. Huh. Maybe a slight little bit of head speed with times on the new pro stuff. Uh, impact timing, very similar. Again, um, yeah, not much to say there. Uh, racket drop, again, not much difference. And you know, I hit exactly the same shot here. Let's look at openness. Wow, that's interesting. So basically what this is about, if you take a racket when you swing towards the racket, are you more closed? Which means that closed is lower and more open is higher. So as it kind of was predicted, that one comes through with the tip faster. So I could close the racket um, much more. So meaning my racket was more open on the new one, which is very interesting. So everything else the same. But I, I, I had to open this one up a little bit. And that's where I think the paradigm shift is coming from. Peak swing rate, very similar. Timing, very similar. And I there again, peak acceleration. My old pro staff wins on the peak acceleration because um, it's not slowing it down with this middle part. It was really because it's so much faster and it's funny because i i was at the store and so many people who bought that racket just wanted to put weight on on the old pro stuff they almost felt like it was too light and that was my my first experience too when i switched from the rf to the 97 uh, v13 you can see here how i'm trying to hit sometimes a little bit away because it wasn't quite the same so so all in all my conclusion is like it was showing on on QMA, that um, if you like the speed in the head of the tip of the racket you're gonna like to stay with this one if you like that kind of slower um like you kind of slower slow it down a little bit and then close so you go open for a little bit longer and then you close you're gonna like this one so 
hope that helps. All right, so here is Wilson's new addition to the ProStaff uh, V14 family. It's pretty much the same weight and balance. The only difference is that it is a hundred square inch. And so let's see how it compares on Q. Whoa. All right, um, definitely more bang for your buck. <laughs> it's, it definitely has a bigger sweet spot. Uh, wow, more power, definitely more power. At first, I, I wasn't that impressed with it. And I think it's just, again, I'm a creature of habit, liking some of the stuff that I know. But I like to have an open mind, and I do think that giving this a, a clear chance we ran out of balls. Ran out of balls! Out of balls. <laughs> and... Okay, now that we have extra balls, let's continue our experiment from Edgewater Science Lab. Okay. <clears throat> Again, not as much bite as I think a lot of rackets have out there. But again, this is not what this racket is for, otherwise it would be called the spin. It's definitely stable, solid. You have to use your body to create the spin. Your rotation, your legs, everything from the ground up. And then with the new paradigm bending, as you can see there, like not using my hands, look at the power that comes off it, just, just by using my, my hip. And then the hip with the, with the closing of the face, hey, that's what's the, the beauty of this racket. Just did 40 shots with the new Wilson ProStar V14X. Let's see how it performed on QMA. So I hit there. You can see, oh, looks like there's a, maybe a tiny little more spin, but let's, let's go to the graph itself. All right, maybe a slight little bit more spin, but not that much. Let's see, maybe a slight little bit more speed. And sweet spot. Definitely more consistency, not as much as my old pro stuff, but definitely more than the 97, which is also kind of, um, you know, we know that was going to happen. Um, hit speed. Hit speed, surprisingly enough, was faster with this one. I don't know if I warmed up a little bit, but um, I could definitely also feel it. Like there was more power coming through and it's almost, I don't Impact timing, very similar, not much difference. Uh, let's see, racket drop, very similar. Um, again, arc length, huh, interesting. So arc length means that when you hit the ball, the longer you go through, how long is that? Is it a shorter for you to go or longer? And this one seemed to have been a little bit longer, maybe because it had a little bit more weight in the head because it's that little bit bigger, could be. Um, openness, so, not as much as the 97, the back loop openness, uh, but uh, it was definitely more than my old pro staff. And then, let's see, peak swing rate, very similar. Peak acceleration, yes, I could feel that. Look at the peak acceleration. It was definitely faster on this one. So there you go. The main differences, definitely a little bit more sweet spot. It goes faster through the air, more power, and um, you didn't have to open the racket face as much as the 97. So that's kind of where I'm coming with this one. All right, so here I have now the third in line of the ProStar V14, Wilson ProStar. It's the 97L and um, it's a little bit lighter, actually a lot lighter. If you think about it, it's 290 grams and that was 315. So we are talking 25 grams heavier. Also a tiny little more heavier in the head, which is what you need if you have a lighter racket. So when I was hitting with before, I felt like it was more spin coming off this. I have Qmate here, which is 
an app and I've put uh, the sensor in the racket, we're going to compare it again with my old ProStaff with the 97 and the X. And now we have the 97L. So let's see how that works, how they weigh up to each other. Yeah, right off the bat, much easier, faster through the air. Maybe it's because I'm used to the heavier racket. Also, I don't know if it's just me, but we can look on QMate later, but I feel like I'm getting more spin from this. Could be because there's a little bit more weight in the head, easier to control. And what I basically want to say, don't throw this racket away if you're intimidated by the weight on the pro staff. I think this, this racket is going to fit more people than the actual pro staff, just because of that it's a little bit lighter and goes through the air and you can really generate spin, especially if you have fast hands. I want to say, ah, use your hip. So much control, love the feedback. You have to work a little bit more, it's definitely if you want to swing. If you want to swing with your pro staff, go with a lighter version. If you like to just let the racket do the work for you, yes, go for the heavier ones. It's tough to be in your 40s, you know, now that I've caught my breath. You know, 40s are not easy. <laughs> um, we have, here's the 97L. Let's compare her to, in my QMate app, 1,800, mm, I think the spin is slightly higher. I think my guess was right. Now, well, look at that, my sweet spot, I don't know, sweet spot was, was better on this 97L. My ball speed, ball speed was faster. I don't know if I got a little tired there, or if QMate got tired, but... Um, <laughs> see, I was like really up there. There is a slight little bit more of spin. But I had to work hard because you can see in the, in the bottom here, um, I was falling off a little bit. It could be because I'm tired from just having to work a little bit harder, but it just, it just shows you that this, this rack is probably going to give you more spin, but you have to work for it. Head speed, tiny little bit faster. Impact timing. Also, you can see it's slightly higher and if it's higher it means that I was hitting a little more in front of me. So again racket drop all of that very similar. Arc length is shorter. So the arc length wow versus the X and this this one was way shorter. I didn't go out as fast I mean, as far as the as the other one and probably again because it's lighter. Um, the energy I had to use a little more energy. So the most energy was from my old pro staff. I had to work the hardest with that one. So it's probably this paradigm bending is probably what helps you a little bit to spend with less energy. Okay, and the winner for opening up your face before you hit is the 97L. <laughs> um, and again, it's probably because I was, because it's a little bit lighter. I'm not quite sure, but uh, yeah. The old pro stuff, I was able to close it for way longer. And let's look at the peak acceleration. The most peak acceleration came from the 97L. Um, again, it's lighter to swing, plus it has that little bit of weight in the head that, or on the swing weight that makes you go fast. Then this is the fourth addition to the new Pro Staff line. We went over my old Pro Staff, we went over the 97, uh, the new V14, we went over the X that came out, the new one, and we went over the 97L. And now the last one is the 97UL at 270 grams and 325 swing speed. I'm going to compare it with um, on the QMate app, put a sensor in there. We're going to see how they weigh up with each other. So let's give it a go. <clears throat> oh my goodness. Okay. This must by far be the racket, the lightest racket with the most control. Because normally you get the very light rackets and they're so packed with power, wide beams, heavy heads that um, it's very hard to get precision from them. Um, this one, if I get my whole body, oh, if I get my whole body into it, 
I can, I can let it rip. I think I'm going to have to work too hard for it at my level. But I think for, you know, people who cannot handle the heavier ones, I think uh, this could be um, definitely a racket to try if you are looking for some, some control, good feedback. There's um, quite a bit of spin I think you can get from this. But again, I wouldn't get this for spin. I would get it purely because you want to feel the racket and the others are just too heavy for you. Definitely looking for the weight on this one, for my level anyway, <laughs> which is why I'm not playing with a 270 gram racket. <laughs> I just have too much body that I want to put into it. And so it's making me work a lot harder. Let's see how it weighed up. Uh, a little bit less in the spin. Hmm, that's interesting. Sweet spot. Let's go. All right. So the first set is my old pro stuff. The second set is the new 97 V14. The third set is the Wilson new X V14. The fourth one is the 97L V14. And the fifth set is the new UL. So... Sweet spot looks very good. Ball speed, a little bit less, but that's understandable because of the weight. Uh, ball spin, it definitely didn't perform so well on the spin because purely because of the weight and probably because it just doesn't fit my, my swing speed. So this is not the racket I would get for myself. But again, if you cannot handle the weight of these ones, this would be a nice racket to try. Hit speed, a little bit less timing yeah it's actually a little bit lower so it meant that I had to get it more closer to my hip probably because that's where I could kind of feel the center of gravity coming out from it so but clearly lower um, I had to drop the racket as well a little bit more interesting and the arc length you can see I was really yeah I don't even know but it kind of was a little bit longer for it for, for some time. And then, yeah, it's just because I'm not used to this weight. Energy. Oh my goodness, yeah. Look at the energy. I definitely had to use a lot more energy with this racket because I just didn't have the mass and the weight that could help me with it. And the back loop openness. Again, the 97L, I had to open the racket the most. Um, and again, my, my old Pro Stuff 1 for keeping it as closed the most closed. Peak acceleration, again, it was kind of similar to the X. Welcome, Pro Stuff V14, now available at Zales Racket Sports. Come on and try them.